Brown. Brown. As in like you want it because it's whole bean. It's whole, it's whole, would you like it? Hey, this is Julian Fuentes from Family Real Estate, and you're watching Family Finds, a show where we navigate New Jersey's finest towns, we taste some of the best dining experiences, and we reveal to you how these cities are changing the face of New Jersey real estate. Today, I'm joined by Victoria from Urban Burger, and I passed by Track 5 Coffee, one of the best coffee shops in the entire state. And that's because today, Family Finds Cranford. Today, I'm in the heart of Cranford, where I'm gonna show you guys one of the best burger places I've ever been to. I've been a couple of times, and I gotta say, it keeps making me wanna come back. Cause they don't just have amazing burgers, they have amazing vibes. This is Urban Burger, and I'm super excited to show you guys. Let's go ahead in. All right, so we're here, we're at Urban Burger. Um, like I said before, amazing vibes, and I love the burgers here. I've been coming for a while, always sensational. I'm joined by Victoria today. Thank you so much, Victoria, for taking the time out of your day and being able to join us. And I, I have a lot of questions, obviously, about Urban Burger. And my first one being, how did it come to be, knowing that obviously it's become such an iconic experience of dining in Cranford, but basically knowing a little bit more of the background um, and how it just came to be this amazing place. So Urban Burger was originally opened in 2013 by the original owner, I think Frank, and our current owner, Rico, he took over the business in September of 2017, and he his vision was to change the vibe in here because it, the walls used to be just white. He wanted to engage customers in conversation, have us put down our phones and just be more interested in the moment and what was around us. Yeah, I understand. And definitely, I mean, I see the wall and I see a lot of um, artists, you know, from back in the day and even modern. There's definitely a lot of spark there for conversation. Um, and it's definitely a, definitely a much more chill vibe than in any of the restaurant I've seen around Cranford. So that's always a good thing. And I wanted to know what basically, now that we're talking about Cranford, what stuck out about Cranford? All right, so when Rico decided Cranford was the spot. He took into consideration that his friend has a restaurant just around the corner and that Cranford seemed like a very welcoming environment to newcomers, that it would be a great place to provide a new restaurant with different vibes and just a great place to be. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, it definitely seems a great place to be. And I've seen a whole wall that you guys have of every award you guys have gotten, recognized by a lot of like NJ.com and a lot of places. Um, really cool and obviously it's something that's very unique. Um, I don't know many burger shops that are recognized that much. So that's really amazing. And now that I come to that question, um, I wanted to ask you, what is the signature dish, signature dish, or at least what is the dish that most people come here for? All right, so definitely our Wicked Blue Burger is one of our signature dishes um well one for its appearance appearance because of how tall it is i mean it does have the four onion rings in it and then our lincoln continental is also pretty popular because it's like breakfast and lunch into one sandwich being on a waffle bun and having like egg and pork roll in it yeah that's really unique and I actually now that you come to this I, I was thinking like, I want to try it myself I know I've been here a couple times and I want to show you guys what I always get um, because if I must say so myself I'm a little bit of a picky eater so my burgers are a little more classic than um, anyone else would get but I still love it because I feel that the class the more classic the burger is you truly get to see the quality of the burger and how amazing it is um, so Victoria, we're going to go ahead and order my signature dish um, here at Urban Burger and, and let's get a taste. All right. Okay. So I ordered the most classic burger on earth, right? So my classic burger or the signature Julian burger at Urban Burger is a medium well done patty um, with Swiss cheese and with bacon. 
it's super classic. I always have to get it with my regular Coke and I get it with the fries. All right, so let's go ahead and give this baby a try. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is fire. This is the best burger, not just in Cranford, I think in all of Jersey. I feel like the bacon is the crispiest it could ever be. And when I say well done, I want my burger well done. And it really is. And it's fascinating. So I really love it. And every time I come here, I usually sometimes I get it with avocado. Um, I get it with different ingredients, but it's always amazing. And it's always, it's always a different experience. And like I always said, amazing vibes. All right, Victoria, I completely love the burger. It was fascinating, it was amazing. Um, amazing, always, as always. Um, I really thank you for your time. I really thank you for everything. But before I let you go, I wanted to ask you, from the history of, of Urban Burger, what is, do you feel the business is most proud of? Or what has been its greatest achievement? And basically, what's the goal for, from now on? All right, so Urban Burger is definitely proud of being featured in multiple different articles. Uh, like we have on our wall, we have been tagged a lot in Instagram posts and we're really proud of the success that we have become and how popular we have become. And we do strive to continue to provide this positive vibe for everyone, to continue engaging with our artwork, with each other while they're here, just having a good time out. Yeah, totally. And I feel like that the business has really been able to achieve that. Um, and it's just a short time span. From 2017, Victoria, it has been amazing. Um, like I said at the beginning, I love this place. Um, it, it's been another amazing experience here. I thank you for your time. Um, I know the business will keep growing and definitely come visit them. It's amazing, amazing burgers. And as I said, amazing vibes. All right, so after an amazing burger at Urban Burger, I wanna show you guys one more place before I leave Cranford. And that's Track 5 Coffee. They've got amazing coffee. They've been going at this for a couple of years now. And trust me, you guys are gonna love the experience because I know I love the coffee and I get it every time before I go to work. So here we go, let's check it out. All right, so before I let you go, I want to give you some information that I know is going to be of value to you. Whether you're looking to move to another city in Jersey or just another state like Jersey. To begin, Cranford is 14 miles southwest of Manhattan. I think that's perfect because it means you have the perfect opportunity to work in Manhattan while living outside of Manhattan. Which, in the time right now, I think is sensational. Only because rent is much lower here and mortgage payments are going to be much lower. So, there's a lot of buyers from New York that are actually coming over to Jersey. Something else that I wanted to tell you is the fact that there are over 55 dining options and entertainment options in Cranford, which is amazing because like I've just shown you, I've just shown you two places, an amazing burger shop and this amazing coffee shop. Imagine how many other options there are in Cranford. Come by a night here and you'll never run out of options. Cranford was established in 1876 and I actually like that because it means that the homes are prehistoric. They were restored, they were renovated, and now they're being sold again. It was passed from generation to generation. The good thing about that is that Cranford is selling homes that are well maintained. And unlike the Big Apple, you're looking at more space for a lower mortgage payment, which, trust me, who doesn't want to save? Something else is that the average price, just to give you an idea, is $588,000, which let's compare it to a city right next door like Elizabeth. Elizabeth has three times the population with Cranford having a population of 24,170, and Elizabeth having way more than that, about three times that amount. We're probably gonna put a specific amount over here. 
So what's important is the fact that you're getting a much more small city, but you're still getting this big city life. And I love that because for someone like me, I want to make sure that I feel safe, that I'm getting all the benefits that I can out of the amount that I'm paying for my home. And I think Cranford gives you that option. In 2020, 314 homes sold in Cranford. And for most of them, it was below 70 days, which we know that for COVID, that's actually pretty good. A lot of the homes are going by so fast because a lot of people are seeing potential in the future of Cranford. There's future in the dining, there's future in entertainment, and there's a lot of future in the development that's coming in. So if you're looking to really move into somewhere that's gonna be worth it, and you're gonna get your money's worth, definitely consider Cranford because it's just going up. All right, so I showed you some of the best parts of Cranford, best restaurants, and the housing market. And I really hope that next time you're thinking about buying in Jersey, or more specifically Cranford, you come to me. Because trust me, we're experts in all of New Jersey. Last thing I wanna tell you is, I want you to smash the heck out of that subscribe button. Definitely like it. And recommend any other business that you wanna see on Family Finds. My name is Julian Fuentes, and this has been Family Finds. Thank you, and buy or sell.